it's me Ronan. wanted to go through my box opening of new digimon set bt5 battle of omni um just had a pretty sick pre-release i got top 10 out of 11 people um basically your digimon god Uh, hopefully, we pull something nice. Mainly looking for um, Omnimon Resort Defeat. Also, uh, you know, that's, that's where we're going to make the money on this set. Without further ado. Oh, and we got the Takumi Box Topper. And, uh, show you all. It wasn't the. The Nokia, sadly, but let's see what we get out of the box. Already starting strong with a uh, Takumi Garbage Mon, Krusimon, Kulamon, Kotimon. Got slapped by a Nightmon deck today. Royal Nuts. Palmon, Yokomon, Landmon, Gabamon, another Takumi, Aiba, Renamon. Alright, so this set obviously Battle of Omni, so there'll probably be a bunch of Omnis in this box. Let's uh, fingers crossed, so the boy can get some, some good Omnis. Cute Mon, really is cute. Philemon, Gusamon. I'm going to go through these pretty quick and I'll go through the rares at the end. I was playing purple today. Some purple meta guru, and it was not updated for uh, set 5, sadly. I was a goober and didn't update that. Alright, our first Omnimon with Blitz. It is. This Digimon can attack when your opponent has. One or more memory. When digivolving, unsuspend this card. All turn. If an opponent's effect would delete this Digimon or return it into its owner's hand or deck, you may prevent it from leaving play by trashing a level 6 card in this card's Digivolution. We go our first Omnimon. He is clean looking. Three packs feet already pulled. Our first super. There is four arts for Omnimon. Um, I'm going to go over some of the, the possible decks. I got some good support from BT5, and one of my favorites is going to be Ancient Gururumon. I definitely saw a little bit more support with some of this blue. Um, and form of like Tsunamon, get that plus extra 1k DP that does come up sometimes. Oh, and our second super rare is going to be Lord Nightmon. This is a hot card right now. Since Yellow is going to basically just run this format. Purple has gotten definitely like a uh, purple Anubis Mon. Uh, has gotten some new support with uh, that coffin set uh, option card. I'm probably gonna beef up. Oh, and also with Black Warp Growlmon, the Digiburst 2 put in play a um, rookie from your trash, combo with, um, comboing with uh, Anubis Mon, and also revive from the, the darkness, delete one, put in play one. So it's a good form of rush. Speaking of the devil, here's our Black Warp Growlmon. Such a good art. Probably one of also my favorite seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Yu-Gi-Oh! Favorite seasons of Digimon is season three, I think, with the Gramon. Another thing that'd be great too with Anubis and Nailbone or Metal Guru control. Um, Musimon. It's a low, it's a four level four jamming, so that's gonna that, that'll come up real nice with that Anubis rush. A little bit more consistent. 
Um, one thing I realized that it's pretty hard to play into um, Lord Nightmon because of uh, Starmon. I'm really looking forward to playing, finally getting all the Diamboromon support. That's what I've been waiting for for quite some time. Um, I will be playing Starmon in there because it is a token swarming deck. And, you know, if I can abuse some overpowered card like that, why, why shouldn't I? You know, minus 1000 DP for each mo uh, Digimon on the field? They ask me, that is insane. Metal Groomon Altress mode. No, Metal Graymon Altress mode. That's nice. And then all delete. So far, so good, you know. Got, a, got two good supers. Um, I'm thinking around, uh, I think Omnis are sitting around 25, and I do not know what Lord Nightmons are at. There we go, the clutch card, Starmons. Wins games, I'm telling you. But we'll see um, at the end if I've actually profited off the box. Speaking of Diaboramon, here is the new Diaboramon when digivolving. Play one Diaboramon token without paying his memory cost. That's great. And then the Sora and Joey Tamer combo. That is another card that has buffed Imperial Jamon. Along with this Omnimon Blitz. Imperial Jamon is a is gonna be a contender this format, even though Lord Nightmon is swinging wide and controlling the boards. Ultimate Flare is another great card that Black got. Literally a board wiper. Such a fantastic card. Alright, a Renamon, and then a Shotmon for our next Super Rare. I actually just lost to Shotmon, and if you're looking for a fun, just combo-y OTK deck, I highly recommend Shotmon. That deck was really fun to look at and watch the combos go off as I sat there. I nail boned and trump sorted like four times. And he still was able to um, combo and uh, OTK per game. Still being a new purple player, he's still having issues with um, when is the right time to start just slamming down my uh, um, my purples and shit. Here's another buff to Diabormon. I think Dibormon will be more of an anti-meta contender than than and he will be a meta one. Just since uh he's kinda like a like a security control black, you know, with um Shademon being play play at the end for security and is a decent blocker. As well as um Flare for the three options. It is gonna be a um Decent deck to play into. Really excited to actually play this format. I will be entering the remote regionals on the 29th of August. I'll be live streaming that. I'll post my link to my Twitch here at the channel description. So you can go ahead and follow for more live content. I'll be doing more Digimon, like webcam event, like webcam content, as well as uh, some. Some TTS. Um, I'll also be posting some uh, deck videos to some pretty exciting deck lists that I think I will be playing. And it looks like we got the Omnimon Zord alternate art for our next super rare. That is fantastic. Look at that beautiful card. I really think Omnimon Zord is going to be a huge contender too. Like that's a sleeper card. Not a lot of people are all hyped on it as uh, as much as the other Omnis, but Black Purple getting their own Omnimon, it's gonna be it's gonna be annoying to deal with. 
even also control green, I think, is going to be pretty annoying in this format. Oh shit. Omnimon Zwart defeat the card I was actually looking for, the secret rare of the set. Beautiful looking card. Do we got Omnimon Zwart and Omnimon Zwart defeat? What's up? Let's continue this. Let's, let's see what else we can pull. Oh, that was a, a rare. My pre-release um, packs were honestly not that great, but they did give up give away a promo uh, dash pack with purchase of the box. I ended up pulling another metal groove and also a black warp raymon. And here is another super rare of metal guru. This has made um reboot blocker pretty pretty nasty. Um. It also gives him a little bit more uh, kill power with uh, Chaos Mon, you know, uh, helping bring that game in, just like that board into a little, a little bit closer. <laughs> this box has been absolutely nuts. The comparison between set 5 and set 4, set 5 literally gapped set 4. Like, I love set 4 for what it gave us, the Ancient Guru, Ancient Greymon, but this set definitely takes the cake. Alright, Tactamon. This is another card I've been thinking about for playing with purple. Activate one of the effects below. If you have no other Digimon, play, activate all the effects instead. Game of Memory. Um, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP this turn and delete up to 3 of your opponent's level 3 Digimon. He's a 12k beater. And if he is your uh, solo Digimon on board, you basically can wipe their Nightmon. If they play Nightmon first and you survive the turn, you uh, hide your raising area, pull out, swing, and this can break the Nightmon's board. Such a fantastic card. Another utility item for purple, giving that Omnimon Zwart deck or Gallantmon just a lot more um, versatility in this format. Go ahead and speed this video up a little bit. It's coming close to already past that 12 minute mark. Mm, Nokiva, the most sought after tamer of the set. If you guys don't know what Nokia does, go ahead and read her. You may play one Agumon or Gabumon card from hand without paying its memory cost. That's its on play effect. When digivolving one of your Digimon into a Digimon card in your hand with Garurumon, Omnimon, or Greymon, other than Dora Greymon, Burning Greymon, or Dex Dora Greymon, in its name, you may suspend its tamer to reduce its mini co memory cost by one. That's pretty good. It's really cute. Ancient Guru is spicy with her. Hi, Matt Tamer. I think with the Omnimon's Warp Defeat alone, this this uh, box has just doubled my, my profit. Since I'm predominantly playing Diaboramon or a blue variant this format, I do not see myself actually using the Omnimon's Warp. And then here is a Chaos Gallantmon. I mean, if I pull two more Chaos Gallantmons, you know, I might actually, I guess, kind of have to play some purple this format. Play that kind of anti-meta build. I think we should have pretty much just rares left in the box. Looking forward to this format with all these uh, upcoming decks. Or fails them on for another super rare. Beautiful, beautiful green card. A lot of people are playing her in three of. 
really interested in see how green OTK is going to look in this format. I was seeing a lot of tier projection where green OTK is going to be tier in tier 1. But I'm not really quite sure with how wide um, Nightmon is swinging and how much board control it has. You might have a hard time actually playing into Lord Nightmon. Alright, let's um, another Star is Mon. Literally the most underrated card right now. Definitely checking that in as many decks as I can. It is such a good, good out. Oh, here's another Black Ward Raymon. Brown Mon, Black Ward Brown Mon. For this Anubis Mon loop that I'm been talking about for all the spice. Let me know in the comments below what y'all's favorite Digimon of this set is going to be and what you're running. Or if there's any Digimon decks you want to see a profile of, I'd be more than happy to try to oblige. Stay tuned for my Diabormon deck, Imperial Blue for set 5, Ancient Guru, and depending on what else I get in this set, might also, depending on what else I'm playing. Well, here's another Nokia. This literally ensures that I will be playing Ancient Guru this set, at least for a couple locals. Still, the live stream for allowing it out for what the regional is going to be is up in the air. The Kaibi Mons are beautiful art. Renamon's one of my favorite Digimon from the set, and her evolution chain is fantastic. I'm interested in see what the DGG Evolution stuff is going to look like in blue. Because that deck is um, another anti meta variant that, mm, that can be very powerful. Especially in the decks like Shotmon, where you just control their DG Evolution stacks, gain extra um, security checks, can't be blocked, etc. They have a lot of power. Um, we will see what it is. What is to come with this set? And this was the last pack of the set, bringing us a Warmonzimon and an Earthshaker. To recap the, the secrets we got, we got the Omnimon Zord Defeat. If you all know what this does. Security play this card without battling or without paying its memory cost. When digivolving, delete one of your opponent's tamers. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Literally a free 13k beater. Omnimon Zwart. Digivolving trash top three cards you deck, then play up to two black or purple Digimon cards without paying its memory cost. When attacking, return one of your level 6 Digimon card and Digimon Evolutionary change to other hands, leave one of your opponent's Digimon, unsuspend this Digimon with a play cost of 12 or less. Disgusting. Everybody knows what the Omnimon Red Blue Blit, the white Digimon for Red Blue, Blitch, play on top of your Imperial, that's how you're swinging game for your fourth attack. Lord Nightmon, one of the most sought after cards of the set. When, when Lord Nightmon attacks, play one level 3 or a Warrior Yellow. You level 3 yellow Digimon or a warrior, and then gain plus 1,000 DP. Chaos Galamon, already went over, Tactamon, Shotmon, Metal Guru, and Fieldsamon. Honestly, this, this box is phenomenal. This, shit, this was the nuts. Um, I'm going to post some links in the description below. If you're interested um, in supporting me, check out my TCG Player Store. Uh, my Twitch for content, I'll be doing live videos 
I'm going to be doing a giving giveaway when I reach 100 subs on Twitch and 100 subs on YouTube. So go ahead, like, subscribe, follow, comment in the section what what deck profiles you're interested to see and how you want to see this uh, format end.